What's your organization's reporting lacking? Your chart of accounts a bit messy, need to streamline it? If you're using QuickBooks, let me help you show how to merge the accounts so that you can streamline your operations. I'm Lisa London. I'm the accountant beside you and the author of Using QuickBooks in Nonprofit Organizations, Associations, and Clubs, and QuickBooks for Churches. For starters, Let's go into QuickBooks. I am using the Premier Nonprofit 2015 version. So if you're using any desktop version, it should be about the same. Going into List, Chart of Accounts, we'll bring up this screen. What I'm wanting to do is I want to merge my local grants into this government grants one. So if I do a double click here, I can see I have 150,000 in my local grants. I have 775,000 in my government grants, I would like to merge the two. So first thing I want to do, of course, is back up the system. But once you've done that, then write down this number, 4520. That is the account number you want to keep, and it's important to know that. Go to the one you want to get rid of, do a right click, hit edit account. Now you need to type in the new account number. You don't have to worry about any of this other things. The only thing you have to be concerned is that the account type is the same as the account you're merging with. So now you change the old account number to the new one. Hit save and close. It'll warn you it's already being used and would you like to merge them? Yes. You should always let you know they did. Now if I double click on that, I see my grant is combining both of the government grant, the previous thing that was in local grants with this government grant one. That's how easy it is. You can also right click on them and hit delete account and it will ask you if you want to delete it, if there's nothing in it. If there is something in it, it will warn you and ask if you want to make it inactive. That's when you can determine if it makes more sense to make it inactive or into merge it into another account that you want to be using. If you are interested in um, using the example chart of accounts from my books, using QuickBooks for nonprofit organizations or QuickBooks for churches, I have numerous samples that um, for PTAs, private schools, churches, Boy Scout troops, etc., that you can load directly into QuickBooks using the um, import an IIF file. The system will automatically merge the accounts using the, the new downloads here that you've purchased as the primary, and then anything they can't match naturally, then you can go through and either merge or hide to your extreme. You can find these files on accountantbesideyou.com under recommended files. I hope you find that useful. I've set them up just to help save people's time. And uh, keep in mind, I am the accountant beside you, and happy to be of help. Check out my blog and video tutorials for additional, additional information.